Piano teacher German, die Klavierspielerin is a novel. Piano teacher German, die Klavierspielerin is a novel by Austrian Nobel Prize winner Elfried Jelinek, first published in 1983 by Roald Verlag. Translated by Joachim Neugraschel, it was the first of Jelinek's novels to be translated into English. Elfried Jelinek German, Elfried Jelinek born the 20th of October 1946, is an Austrian playwright and novelist. She is one of the most decorated authors to write in German and was awarded the 2004 Nobel Prize in Literature for her musical flow of voices and counter voices in novels and plays that, with extraordinary linguistic zeal, reveal the absurdity of society's cliches and their subjugating power. One next to Peter Handke and Bothos Strauss she is considered to be the most important living playwright of the German language. Repression is a key concept of psychoanalysis, where it is understood as a defense mechanism that ensures that what is unacceptable to the conscious mind, and would if recalled arouse anxiety, is prevented from entering into it. One, according to psychoanalytic theory, repression plays a major role in many mental illnesses, and in the psyche of the average person. Two, American psychologists began to attempt to study repression in the experimental laboratory around 1930. However, psychoanalysts were at first uninterested in attempts to study repression in laboratory settings, and later came to reject them. Most psychoanalysts concluded that such attempts misrepresented the psychoanalytic concept of repression. Sadomasochism, 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 one, is the giving and receiving of pleasure from acts involving the receipt or infliction of pain or humiliation. Two, practitioners of sadomasochism may seek sexual pleasure from their acts. While the terms sadist and masochist refer respectively to one who enjoys giving and receiving pain, some practitioners of sadomasochism may switch between activity and passivity. The novel follows protagonist Erika Coet, Eka Coet, a sexually and emotionally repressed piano teacher, as she enters into a sadomasochistic relationship with her student, Walter Klemmer, Valt Kalem, the results of which are disastrous. Like much of Jelinek's work, the chronology of the events in the book is interwoven with images of the past and the internal thoughts of characters. 2. While the English work was titled The Piano Teacher, the title in German means The Piano Player. It is also clear that the player is female because of the noun's feminine ending. In 2001, the novel was adapted into the film The Piano Teacher, directed by Michael Haneek. Summary the novel follows Erika Coet, a piano teacher in her late 30s who teaches at the Vienna Conservatory and still lives in an apartment with her very controlling elderly mother, with whom Erika shares her parents' marriage bed, despite having a room of her own. The very strained relationship between Erika and her mother is made clear in the opening scene, in which Erika rips out some of her mother's hair when her mother attempts to take away a new dress that Erika has purchased for herself. Erika's mother wishes the money to be used toward a new, future apartment with her, and resents Erica's spending of her money on possessions distinctly for herself, her mother cannot wear Erica's clothing. Erica herself does not wear it, but merely strokes it admiringly at night. Erica expresses this latent violence as well and need for control in many other scenes throughout the book. Erica takes large instruments on trains so that she can hit people with them and call it an accident, or kicks her steps on the feet of other passengers so that she can watch them blame someone else. She is a voyeur who frequents peep shows, and on one occasion catches a couple having sex in a park, being so affected that she urinates. Childhood memories are retold throughout the novel and their effects on the present suggested, for instance, the memory of a childhood visit from her cousin, an attractive and athletic young man, whom Rika's mother praised while she makes her daughter practice piano, results in Erika's self-mutilation. Walter Klemmer, an engineering student, is introduced very early on. He comes early to class and watches Erica perform. He eventually becomes Erica's student and develops a desire for his instructor. Erica sees love as a means of rebellion or escape from her mother and thus seeks complete control in the relationship, always telling Clemmer carefully what he must do to her, although she is a sexual masochist. The tensions build within the relationship as Clemmer finds himself more and more uncomfortable by the control, and eventually Clemmer beats and rapes. Erica in her own apartment, her mother in the next room. When Erica visits Clemmer after the rape and finds him laughing and happy, she stabs herself in the shoulder and returns home. According to Larson Powell and Brenda Bethman, musicality is a very important aspect of the book, 
They argue that Jelinek, herself a former student of the Vienna Conservatory, uses musicality to underscore the perversity of the main character, who participates in a musical tradition that trains women to play the piano in order to attract a husband. Erica's failure as a pianist is a sign of her perversion. Both the pervert and the artist attain pleasure, but where the artist reaches pleasure is a sublimity, thus becoming a desiring subject, the pervert fails to achieve subjectivity and remains bound to object status. Thus, Erica remains the object of her mother's desire, unable to attain subjectivity which the principles of her musical education had denied her in the first place. 3. Other criticism has been directed toward the lack of a father figure within the novel. Just as much as Erika's mother is suffocatingly present, says her father noticeably absent. This provides her mother with sole psychological discretion as to Erika's upbringing. Worth noting is that, the mother's power and influence increase with the absence of the father, who is admitted to an asylum and spatially exiled. Aside from the fact that the exclusive bond between mother and daughter remains uninterrupted and maternal domination obstructed, his displacement suggests the cause for Erica's failed separation from the mother and her excessive masochistic drive. 4. Critic Beatrice Hansen refers to the novel as an anti-buildings Roman and anti kunstler Roman, and writes further that the piano teacher is a satirical critique of the literature popular during the 1970s and 1980s that idealized the pre-Oedipal mother-daughter bond. 5. Film The Piano Teacher, French, Le Pianist, Lit. The Pianist, is a 2001 erotic psychological drama film written and directed by Michael Haneke, based on the 1983 novel of the same name by Elfried Jelinek. It tells the story of an unmarried piano teacher, Isabel Huppert, at a Vienna conservatory, living with her mother, Annie Girardo, in a state of emotional and sexual disequilibrium, who enters into a sadomasochistic relationship with her student, Benoit Magimal. A co-production of Austria and France, Henique was given the opportunity to direct after previous attempts to adapt the novel by filmmakers Valley Export and Paulus Menker collapsed for financial reasons. Erika Coet is a piano professor in her late 30s at a Vienna music conservatory who resides in an apartment with her domineering elderly mother. Her late father had been a long-standing resident in a psychiatric asylum. Despite Erika's aloof and assured facade, she is a woman whose sexual repression and loneliness is manifested in her paraphilia, including voyeurism, sadomasochistic fetishes, and self-mutilation. At a recital hosted by the Blonskij couple, Erika meets Walter Klemmer, a young aspiring engineer who also plays piano, and who expresses admiration of her talent for classical music. The two share an appreciation for composers Robert Schumann and Franz Schubert, and he attempts to apply to the conservatory to be her pupil. His audition impresses the other professors, but Erika, though visibly moved by his playing, votes against him, she cites his divergent interpretation of Schubert's Andantino, and questions his motivations. Despite this, Walter is admitted as Erika's pupil. Meanwhile, another pupil, Anna Schober, struggles with anxiety while pushed by her own ambitious mother. However, when Erika witnesses Anna and Walter socializing, she slips to an empty coat room and smashes a glass, hiding the shards inside one of Anna's coat pockets. This cuts Anna's right hand, preventing her playing at the forthcoming Jubilee concert. Walter pursues Erika into a lavatory after she secretly injured Anna. Walter passionately kisses Erika, and she responds by repeatedly humiliating and frustrating him. She proceeds to give him a handjob before performing fellatio on him, but abruptly stops when he does not abide by her orders to be silent and to look at her and not to touch her. She tells him she will write him a letter regarding their next meeting. Later at the conservatory, Erika feigns sympathy for Anna's mother, with Erika saying only she can substitute for Anna in the upcoming school concert at such a late stage. Walter is increasingly insistent in his desire to initiate a sexual relationship with Erika, but Erika is only willing if he will satisfy her masochistic fantasies. She gives him the letter indicating acts she will consent to. He follows her home and reads the letter in her bedroom, but the list repulses him and he leaves. Later that night, Erika's mother is berating her while they lay in bed together for letting Walter in her bedroom in the middle of the night, when Erika suddenly begins kissing and groping her mother. Her mother resists and tells Erika she is unwell. Erika finds Walter at an ice rink after his hockey practice to apologize. She begins to subjugate herself to him in a janitorial closet. Walter says he loves her and they begin to have sex, but Erika is unable to, and vomits while performing fellatio. Later that night, Walter arrives at Erika's apartment and attacks her in the fashion described in her letter. 
He locks her mother away in her bedroom before proceeding to beat and rape Erica. The next day, Erica brings a large kitchen knife to the concert where she is scheduled to substitute for Anna. When Walter arrives, he enters cheerfully, laughing with his family, and flippantly greets her. Moments before the concert is due to start, a distraught Erica calmly stabs herself in the shoulder with the kitchen knife and exits the concert hall into the street.